I start out everything I do with the word vision because in business it all starts with a vision. I don't know any successful business that didn't start with somebody who had this incredible idea and over time honed it down to a set of specific tasks that they would accomplish, that they would do to accomplish this vision. And you're going to see the word vision in all three of the times that I address you. And it's key to the whole development of a business because that vision is what you're going to enroll everyone in from your employees to your customers to your investors to your lenders to your suppliers. Everybody is going to learn to connect with your vision and want to support that vision because your vision is so outstanding and produces so much value for everyone. So if you just think of the word vision, it's the essence of what you are as an entrepreneur. In fact, my definition of an entrepreneur is not the standard one. An entrepreneur is a person with a vision. It starts right there person with a vision who orchestrates the time, talent, and resources of other people to make their vision real. You're not the investor. You're not supposed to come up with your own money, believe it or not. Okay, Your job is to create the vision and to motivate the people who have everything you need to support you in the development of that vision. And so a lot of times people think, well, if I don't have money, how can I be an entrepreneur? You don't need money to be an entrepreneur. You need a brain. Okay, And you need to know how to think. You need to know how money works. You need to know how to motivate other people to get behind you and support you. And to do that, you need to tap into their values and what they want to accomplish with their life, what's important to them. One of the corollaries of business to me is that people out there have everything you want. Anything you'd ever want to build your business is already out there. And the people who have it will give it to you if your business gives them what they want. It's the basic law of mutual exchange. And so again, everything that you're going to hear from me is first, know the motivations of everybody who's help you need to put your business together. Know what it is they want to happen. And then your job as the entrepreneur is to structure your business so that every single thing that everyone needs to get from your business, to be your investor, to be your employee, to be your customer, to be your supplier, is going to come from your business. And they're going to become such a raving fan of yours because of what your business delivers to them that they're going to support you with anything and everything that you need. So if you think of yourself in that way, think of yourself as that entrepreneur who orchestrates the time, talent, and resources of other people. And think of yourself as that person who takes the time to learn what everybody wants to get from your vision. And then the time to structure into it so that it delivers to them what they need and what they really want. Now when you've done that, nothing is wasted. So many times people give stuff away thinking it's what the other person wants. And it didn't really motivate them and they gave it away for nothing. Don't do that, okay? Your, your job is to find out what people want, give them that, and give them only that because you're going to have to conserve those resources to make sure there's enough there to give everybody what they want. And the second item that I just want to say before I start all this, business is not a zero-sum game. You as an entrepreneur are a value adder, okay? You take something that already exists in some way. You've identified a challenge or a problem that this vision is going to solve. And when you've completed that structure is going to be capable of delivering new value that did not exist before. That's what makes entrepreneurs so special. That's what makes them the driving force. That's what makes you the driving force behind your community, behind the economics of the community in which you live. You're a rare breed. How many millions and millions of people are there on the planet and only a handful are really and truly entrepreneurial and yet they drive employment, they drive new goods and services, they drive new ideas, they really create the real progress that we all have. And if they've done a really good job, some big business that didn't invent anything came along and bought them up because they did such a good job. Okay, But it's not the big companies that really create the new ideas and the fresh thinking. It has to come from the entrepreneurial community. So you're very special. Please understand that about yourself. All right, enough of that. Let's talk about how we get into business. Let's talk about how it is that if we don't have a lot of cash, how many people have more cash than they need? Let me just see a show of hands. More cash than you need, how many? Wow, I, I see two hands or three hands up in the room. I need to visit you afterwards because I, I have some ideas for that. But in all seriousness, most people who become entrepreneurs are heavy in vision and light in cash. So. Let's talk about how we can start putting things together where we don't need big chunks of money.